Hi guys, it's Suzanne and I'm back again with another video and this one is my Hella Handmade Creations wish list for February and as you can see at the top here, um, you can go in and wish list now if you create an account but um, the actual purchases start on February 14th at 12.01 Eastern Time through February 21st at 11.59 p.m. Hawaiian Time and if you go on it's just like um polish pickup you go on and put um it's a bunch of different indie brands that do different little um they all submit one or two things and you can go on and purchase it and then you get your polishes or your soaps or your jewelry whatever you purchased stickers in um three to four weeks after the shop closes so i have not looked at this at all so i'm super excited so let's just get right into it Okay, um, I'm not liking any of those, so I'll skip that. Okay, that all mixed up lacquer is pretty neat looking, but I am going to skip it because I am trying to do better. So let's view all, and I'll we'll have to probably go back through these. Sorry about that. Okay, so yes this is where we were okay I am not gonna look at any of those Ooh, let's look at this um, BCB lacquer join me my garden needs tending and let's see it is sorry about that it is 200 bottle cap and it says BCB Lacquer continues the series inspired by DC Comics with a Join Me, My Garden Needs Tending, which is a dark green to light green thermal with red, orange, iridescent flakies and metallic black flakies and was inspired by Poison Ivy. Oh, man. I hate that it's a thermal just because I don't know. I know I shouldn't let that bother me if I like the one color but i'm just not going to buy it because it's a thermal but i do think it's beautiful i want to look at this bees knees lacquer so this is bees knees lacquer love hurts 13 dollars, and there's no cap on it so it says bees knees lacquer is back with a new series inspired by ice nine ice nine kills first we have love hurts born from an oops batch of our popular color tell them to f off this is a light purple that leans a little blue with the same glowy green to blue shimmer as an, and is inspired by the INK song love hurts I think it's pretty in that picture right there but I don't like it in that picture um gosh I don't know if they get it to look different by just building it up in so many coats. I hate when polishes, like I like it in that picture. I hate when polishes are like this so many different, like every swatch looks like a different color because you don't know what you're getting. It would be nice when they did this if they would, and I know they probably don't have time, but if the swatchers could put under there like two coats, three coats, because um, I really like it like that. I'm going to add it to the wish list, but I feel like it will get deleted because I don't like how it looks in several of the pictures, but I love it in that picture. So let's move on. Okay. I am going to skip all those. Ooh, this is really pretty. This, um, this is Danny Vienna meringue um thirteen dollars for a hundred bottle cap <clears throat> excuse me by danny vienna begins a new series inspired by pastries first we have meringue which has a white curly base with peach aurora shimmer this polish is inspired by i'm not sure what those are parlovas pa pavlovas i'm not sure what those are Oh, I think it is so pretty. I'm going to put this in my wish list, but I do feel like this will probably get deleted because 
I don't think I have one that kind of leans this like pinkier color, but I know I have a lot of like, whoops, really pretty whites like this, but I'm still going to add it for right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip all those. These kind of look very similar. This crystal knockout and cupcake polish. Um, we'll go look at both of them. What the heck? So crystal knockout clouds on the ground, 1250 no cat crystal knockout continues the habit of the cat series with clouds on the ground. This polish features a dark emerald base jelly with matte green glitter in various shapes and sizes and iridescent color shifting flakies in copper, gold, and green. Inspired that by the elusive beauty of the cloud leopard in its jungle home. Oh, man, I do think this is pretty. It's kind of different. I don't have anything like this, I think. I feel like it'll probably get vetoed, but I'm going to add it. Because I do think it's, I don't, I love green and I don't have anything quite like that one. Okay, let's look up this cupcake polish. So cupcake polish, hey now, hey now, $13, no cap. So it says Cupcake Polish is back with a new series inspired by Lizzie McGuire. First we have Hey Now, Hey Now, which is a lime green metallic nail polish filled with silver holographic flakies. I don't really like it there, but I like it when it's darker. That's probably just an extra coat because it does look very similar. Um... It's not like the other one where the colors were completely different. I'm going to add this, but I, I guarantee this one will get vetoed because I probably have several lime green polishes. So I love this one. I think this is definitely what I'm going to get. So this is Dam or Dom Nail Polish Neon Kitty. $13. And there's a 100 bottle cap. Oh, I have to be on here early. So... Damn Nail Polish continues the series inspired by Hello Kitty with Neon Kitty, which is a light blue crelly with neon pink and yellow glitters. Also included is a sprinkle of black flakes and a touch of shimmer that shifts pink to gold. Oh, I think this one is so pretty. I'm not sure if I have anything like this one, but oh, I love that. Oh, I just love this one. That one's definitely going on the wish list. So let's keep looking. Okay. I am going to skip all those. And these are really cute stickers. Oh, they are so cute. Um, they really are cute, but I am going to skip them. I am going to skip all that. Okay, this is these ones without pictures. There's a goat milk soap, um, a whipped body cream, and a coconut silk soap. So I'm going to skip all those because I don't need any of that kind of stuff. I do think this Heather Hughes Stop on a Dime is super pretty, but I know I have a similar purple like that. Okay, so this lily pad lacquer, looking out the back door. These don't have photos yet. Um, looking out my back door, $14, $35 cap. Ooh, so it's, um, you'll have to be on here super early if you want this, probably. This says, lily pad lacquer continues the series inspired by Credence Clearwater Revival with looking out my back door, which is a taupe crelly with red, orange, copper, gold flakies <clears throat> okay reading this description i don't think i'll personally like it but since there's no picture oh you can't even wish list it yet well fooey i like when they let you at least go on and put it on your wish list because i try not to come back to the site so i'm not um tempted by anything else okay let's see what this one is Okay, lily pad lacquer running through the jungle, $14, 35 um, cap. This is lily pad lacquer, continues the series running by, inspired by 
Credence Clearwater Revival with Running Through the Jungle, which is a rich, rich copper base with blue lavender teal flakies. So it's like they made two of them. I don't know. I can't put them up, so I'll try to remember to come back and look at those. If not, I guess I will not be purchasing them. Um, I'm going to look at this one. M and N m and n polish that very special age and homicides duo okay so this is the duo so okay m and n polish continues the series and it's a 75 cap it continues the series inspired by the cinematic classics with the very special age which is a mix of aurora shimmer iridescent flaky flakies and reflective glitters and homicides which is a mix of multi-chrome and hollow pigment i'm going to go back real fast and see if i can just like see i don't like this homicides um i want to look at that very special age because that looks like those flakies are very pretty could you use it as a topper is what i'm wondering I'm going to skip it because I know I already have too many that I want to purchase. So I will wind up deleting this. Ooh, I think this is pretty. Music City Beauty Rose Quartz 1250, 100 bottles. So Music City Beauty starts a new series inspired by crystals and gemstones with rose quartz, which is a light pink base with white shimmer and holographic flakies. <sighs> I think this one is so pretty. I feel like I probably could dupe it, but would I ever dupe it? Because I probably have a similar pink, and I know I have a topper. I'm going to add it to the wish list, but I feel like I could dupe that. But, oh, I do think it is very pretty. So, moving right along, skipping all those. I am going to skip all those. I think this Paint It Pretty Polish lollipops or suckers is very pretty um it looks like it's magnetic but i feel like i probably have something similar to that um i like this paradox polish but it looks like it's a thermal so i'm not going to waste my time even looking at that okay skipping all that Ooh, what is this red-eyed lacquer spooky wind 1250 and there's a 200 bottle cap. So Red Eyed Lacquer continues the series inspired by weather with Spooky Wind, which is a yellow curly with orange green shifting flakes and black flakies. Oh man, I love that picture of it. Whoops, sorry about that. I love that picture of it right there. Ooh, okay, I love that one. I'm adding that to the wish list. And. Let's see what the smell of this acetone additive is. So it's ribbit, ribbit stick it. Inconceivable. Forget about it. Acetone. And let's see. They are inspired by the Princess Bride with Inconceivable, which is a scent with a sweet blend of ripe, tangy grapefruit and magnosteen, an exotic fruit. That is citrusy and sweet with a hint of peach. I don't know that I would like grapefruit, but I'm curious about this um, Magnolstein. I've never heard of that. I will add that to my wish list because I do need some more and um, I could always try it. Okay, more. Um, I'm not going to get that rogue lacquer because I just bought a blue last month from, ooh, from them. Um, I saw the sassy sauce. Um, last month, though, even though it was different, I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to look at this. I feel like it might be a thermal, though. Sassy sauce polish walking on broken glass. That's $13. 200 bottle cap. Shoot, it is a thermal. So I am not going to get it, but we'll go on and read about it since we're here. Sassy Sauce, Sassy Sauce 
polish continues with a series inspired by butterflies with walking on broken glass which is a purple thermal code with a silver blue shimmer and a blue green violet shifting micro ucc flakies when warm you will see a hot pink that makes all the goodies pop now see i like it in the hot pink but i'm not really a super fan of the purple Ooh, even though that is very pretty. I'm going to skip it because it's a thermal. Um, let's see if I can add this one to... I can't add these without pictures. Usually, or this one you can. Okay, so this is Swamp Glass. You had to be a big shot, didn't you? $13.50 for $300. So this continues the Swamp Gloss continues if i said glass i don't know why i always do that but swamp gloss continues with the series inspired by the boys with you had to be a big shot didn't you which is a vibrant pinky orange with black flakies and iridescent shifting flakes and is inspired by wee higgy i don't know who that is but the polish sounds like it could be very beautiful i'm going to add that and um, wait for the picture to come up and make a decision then I am skipping all those okay I am skipping all those so let's go into my wish list it looks like I have nine I don't count this so I have eight I don't count this uh, acetone additive as um, even though I pay money for it I don't count it as something I have to look at so i have eight one without a picture i do believe i'm definitely going to try to get this red eyed lacquer i'm loving that i love this music city one too Ooh, i think they're both beautiful i'm definitely going to try to get this um damn nail polish um i'm going to delete off this uh bee's knees because i didn't like it how it looked in all those different photos I'm going to delete off this Danny Vienna right away because I feel like I probably have something similar. And I'm going to delete off this Cupcake Polish because I feel like I have something similar. So that took me down to six items, five polishes. So I would like to just get... I mean, maybe this one will come off right away, which will take me down to four. I would be comfortable at four, but I would like to get like three really so i'll have to look over this because i have until february 14th to make a decision and i'll keep maybe whittling them down um i'm curious to know if you buy from hella homemade creations what's on your wish list because i always love seeing people's wish lists so if you do buy from them and you have a wish list comment it down below and i would love to see it i hope everyone has a great day um remember i do do uh, monthly nail polish giveaways pretty much at the first of i try to do them around the first of every month to subscribers i hope everyone has a great day remember keep polishing bye guys